Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create splash screen in Flutter. In today's tutorial we are not going to create our custom splash screen which will be the next tutorial of our login Flutter application, the playlist that we are creating. But in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to use native splash screen. So before moving further as you can see we are creating a login application and if you are new you can watch the previous videos of this playlist or the upcoming videos of this playlist from the link down below in the description or you can also get the playlist link from the right top corner. Okay so in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create this uh, login application as you can see when we are going to open the application with the white background in the center of the screen we have a logo and after that our main screen appears with the light theme and then we are going to switch it to dark mode so when the dark mode is on now let's try to rerun our application again and this time you can see we have a dark background with the icon and then our application appears so this is what we are going to learn again for the light and dark themes I suggest you to watch the previous videos link is in the description or you can get it from the right top corner so without wasting time let's get started open Android studio So we are inside the project we created in our previous tutorials. Again if you are new to this playlist you can watch the previous tutorials. To keep everyone on the same page let's have a quick recap. In the previous tutorial we learned how to use light theme, dark theme and also in our folder structure tutorial we learn how to create the folders. And in the previous video inside the theme we created theme here and also in the text theme we learn how to create text themes okay so for today's tutorial i have just created a simple page and in the center we have a home page right okay now to add dependencies in the project we will go to pubspec.yml file and in here i have just removed all the comments to remove the comments press ctrl r and in here the comments start with a hash sign so to select the complete line we will write dot static make sure that this regex option is enabled and hit replace all the all comments will be replaced okay now to add a dependency the first way is that we have to like in the previous tutorial we learn how to add google fonts as you can see in the screen we have pub.dev packages and we have a dependency which is flutter native splash and the second way is if you know the name we have to go to terminal and in here we have to run the flutter command flutter pub add and name of the dependency hit enter okay dependency has been added in here you can see we have a flutter native splash so to deal with all the native images and colors so we are not going to code it inside any dart file so inside this yaml file we have to go to this dev dependencies and not inside this inside means that we have one tab or two spaces but you can see we are not inside this step dependencies but in here we have to write flutter native splash colon we can add color so this is how we add color in the flutter native splash this color is basically the light color to add a dark color we have to press ctrl d change this color to dark underscore color we will also change this color to this one you can also get all the color codes that we are going to use in this playlist from codingvt.com i will drop the link in the description basically this is the light color this will be the dark color and uh, these colors are going to be used as a background color and also we can add image here so as an image property we will simply write without any commas or uh, unlike the string we just have to call assets in the assets go to the images and in here you can see we have already an image added so make sure you have an image there and then we have to give path assets slash images slash name make sure that you don't have any spaces there is no forward slash at the start so this assets is basically a folder over here it's assets so we have assets in the assets we have images and inside we have here so we will copy this and also we are going to use same image for the dark background okay inside its documentation you just have to scroll a bit down you can see we have to add color like this and in here you can add all these options but at the end you can see we have a running example which is color then this is an image branding will be another image will, will be displayed at the bottom of the screen then we have a dark color and image dark so it's not dark image it's 
color dark again so this is not dark color this is color dark and this is not dark image but it's image dark so it's good to follow this documentation from here this is especially for the android 12 and then web is false means that we are not going to add splash screen in the web for the android 12 you can see we have an icon background color which is actually a background color so it's color here and it's icon background color here and then as a dark theme we have icon background color dark which is color dark over here so this is how this flutter native splash works so to create it go to terminal again so we have to run flutter pub run flutter native splash colon create so this is going to create a native splash for us it will take all the images from here which is inside it and it is going to replace them with this android and ios folders and also put this background color right in their specific files so hit enter okay you can see native splash complete we have all these creating images dark mode splash android 12 splash dark mode and so on so this is how we add all the images now let's try to run the application okay so our application is running so let's open the application and you can see that we have a white background with a logo at the center and then our main application appears so this is for the light mode now let's switch it to dark mode so dark mode is on now let's try to run it again so you can see we have a dark mode with the image in the center again so this is how we create native splash screen in the flutter using a simple dependency you can get all the code from the description below or you can visit and also i will drop the link of uh, this splash screen documentation you can get that from there so that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learned something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe it because more amazing videos are coming thank you for watching take care allah peace